Catering for your wedding is a vital aspect of the success of the occasion. Everybody remembers bad food and enjoys good food. The catering aspect of your wedding can also embrace some of the decor too, such as table linen, chairs and favours. Julie Gray from Bovingdon's is a food lover and expert. Where do you start when a client comes to see you about their wedding menu? I think it's really important we get a whole picture of the day. So I'd always take it to start at the venue. Think about the venue, uh, the style of the venue, um, the possibilities of the venue. And from that, then talk with the clients to find out what sort of atmosphere they want to create. Because the two go together. Obviously, they've selected a venue for the atmosphere that they're aiming for. Um, so we talk around that, and I get a real and complete picture. They need to match. They need to go together. So the whole style, from linen to musicians to the venue to the personalities of the pe people, all work to, to complete the picture. Um, the food, for me, is the last bit to sort out. It's the easy bit because it should become quite apparent what's right for each client and for each wedding. If it has more of an informal feel, what do you suggest then? Well, I think you have to decide you want it to be informal. Does that mean you want to sit down for dinner? That's probably the, one of the first things you need to decide. Um, if it's very important for you to be seated at either round tables or long tables, and you want to have a table plan so you can determine who's going to sit next to who, then really you're going to have a dinner or a luncheon, of course. Um, if that's not important to you, then we could look at a buffet um, and therefore avoid the formal seating plan, have occasional furniture dotted around for those that want to be seated. And then that opens up a huge host of choice. So how does a buffet work then at a reception? Well, one of two ways. Um, if your guests are seated, so we're going to have a buffet so you can offer your guests choice, um, and still we're going to seat guests fairly formally, in that situation we would seat guests and then have a starter, and then once that's finished and drinks are topped up, nicely paced, we would then invite one table at a time, or if it was a larger wedding, two or three hundred guests, three tables at a time, up to a buffet station. That's that's staged, that's elegantly set, it reflects your menu, the atmosphere, so it's designed to match. What's nice about a buffet is it can be paced throughout the evening, so you can have different things happening and it can change quite frequently. When catering for large numbers, it makes sense to go for a buffet because then you've got a wide selection of choice and also people are going to get served pretty quickly. They can choose to eat when they want, what they want. So here you can see we've got the hot buffet stand with two waiters serving everything that guests could require. So tell me about the ceremony today because I saw the beautiful hopper at the end of the tent there. Well, it's a traditional Orthodox Jewish wedding and what the brief was basically the ceremony has to be under the sky, open sky, so not in a house, not in a synagogue. Right. So we had to work around this whole issue of having opening up a marquee. So what we did, we added on another little marquee at mm -hmm. the end. And just minutes before the ceremony started, I had two people to remove the roof. Yeah. And we just prayed there was no rain. Yeah. How big is this marquee today? Do you know the size of it? It's over 10,000 square foot. Yeah, and that's for 600 people. That's uh, for sure 600 people. Yeah. The first impression at the reception is actually the drinks. That's the first thing the guests see as they come through the doors, isn't it? Yes, it is. And I think drinks are really worthy of thought. It's very easy just to serve a glass of champagne and orange juice and mineral water. And in fact, there's nothing wrong with that. But very simply, you can make it a little bit different, a little more special. You know, champagne is delightful. Add a fresh raspberry. Or if you're really going overboard, you could float gold leaf in it. I firmly believe that 40% of appetite is presentation. And that, that isn't just the food. That's the whole table as well. And again, it has to match. It has to match the venue, the style of event, and be conducive to build on your atmosphere. So a simple flower display and lots of candles. Lots of candles. Cream linen is classic. It's stylish. And it provides a rich blank canvas on which to serve your selected food.